If we're learning how to create Linux shell scripts in the Bash shell, then we're going to need to know how to get data into our shell script and process that data. And we're going to want to have data that's coming into commands and being processed by commands and then being output and possibly saved to files so that we can keep a record of how the program functions. We want to keep track of the data that is successfully created, but also the errors that are created, etc. So if we're going to do all this type of advanced processing and create shell scripts that are programs that can really uh, do stuff and process data, then we need to know about redirectors and pipes. When commands are executed in the terminal, there are three elements to the command execution and we call those the three file descriptors. There's input, data that's input into the command. There's output, the data that comes out of the command. And sometimes there are error messages that also come out of a command sequence. So those are the three file descriptors, standard input, standard output, and standard error. So every command has those three file descriptors that it acts upon. So I can give you an example of that. If we put in an ls-l command and we say we want a list in the long format and then we supply it with the input and the input in this case can be let's say forward slash root var directory right so in this case the command is ls-l and the input is the var directory and the output is the output of this text with all this information about the files and folders and directories that exist in the var directory. And this output is output to the screen. We can control how the data is output and we can control how the data is input and also the error messages by using redirectors that act upon the standard in, standard out, and standard error file descriptors. So let's give an example of that. So, so this time what I'm going to do is I'll do an ls-l and instead of basically saying to output it to the screen, what I can do is, is I can use an output redirector and say I want to take the output from this command. The input would be this var directory, right? And uh, pa oh, the path to the var directory is let's say the input and here's the command ls-l right? but I'm going to do an output redirection instead of to the screen to a text file so I'll say my directory dot txt so now if I hit enter the output is not sent to the screen the standard output is sent to a text file so to prove this, we'll just cat out my di directory.txt, and you can see there's the text from the command. So instead of being output to the screen, it's output to a text file. This can be very useful in our shell scripts where we want to run a program that will go through a series of steps and process data and possibly save that data to a text file. Now, there's another way that we can write that same command. And to do it, I first need to tell you that standard in or STD in is assigned a number, and that is the number zero. Now STD out, standard out, is assigned the number one, and STD error is assigned the number two. So remember that the standard in is a zero, standard out is a one, and standard error is a two. So that previous command that we did, ls-l, and passed the var directory and the output redirector to my directory.txt, this output redirector is actually short for a 1 and then the greater than sign, indicating that this is going to be standard output, right? But if we wanted to, we could pass the errors of my directory.txt there as well if we put a 2 here. And now instead of the output of the ls-l root var directory going into my directory.txt, the errors would go into my directory.txt. So the 2 changes how the redirector functions. 
So let's look at input also. Now once again we use the previous command ls-l and before we did ls-l and we passed it root var. But as I said that the root var was the input we could instead use an input redirector and say input into ls-l is root var and that should work also. And if we hit return you can see that it does indeed work. We could also instead of just putting the input redirector begin it with a zero and that should work as well. And if we hit enter you see that that works. Now we could also say how about we input into ls-l the root var directory and then output it let's say one output to my directories my directory dot txt and then also we we'll can do a two and then an output redirector errors dot txt so now with the ls-l command we're inputting the root var directory we're outputting to my directory dot txt and we're also outputting errors to errors dot txt so we'll just hit enter and you can see we don't get any message which is actually a good thing in this case so let's see if it worked so we'll cat my dir and hit enter and you can see that sure enough the text has not changed that's inside of my directory dot txt all right I'll clear that or now what we can do is we can cat errors dot txt and you can see that no errors happen because we passed it a good file but that's not always the case let's see if we can generate some errors so in this case we'll do this we'll say ls dash l and we're going to list the documents directory right which we're in right now we're in home so we'll list the documents directory and we're also going to list the dagru mints directory and of course that's misspelled right so the documents directory and or we could say we want to list the whatever it is the pictures directory but we can misspell it so we'll misspell it pictures all right and we will send the output the good output will go to good dot txt and then the bad output we have to preface it with a two right if we don't put a one here a one is implied so all we have to do is put the output redirector and a one is implied and then the two though we have to specify and that'll be for errors and we'll put the errors into errors dot txt and if we hit enter now we should have two files let's do ls you can see that we have good dot txt and errors dot txt let's cat it out cat good you can see there's the documents that's in my documents directory and we will cat out the errors dot txt and you can see that ls cannot access pictures no such file or directory so you can see there was an error message when it tried to list long a directory that did not exist right I asked it to list out documents which was a good directory but when I asked it to list out pictures I misspelled pictures and so it generated errors and those errors were redirected into errors.txt you can see the whole thing without redirection ls-l documents and pictures and you can see that there's the error first right and then there's the good data here right so basically instead of sending both the errors and the good data to the screen we can use redirectors to send them to a file 
Another useful redirector is the append redirector, and I'll show you how that works. So let's say that I do an ls-l of my documents directory, and I redirect that into a file called mydoc.txt, right? So we hit return, and then let's look at it. Cat mydoc txt and you can see that inside this document this text file was the output doc1 doc2 doc3 and then myback.tgz now what we can do is we can say all right this time i'm going to do the same thing except i'm going to do a double greater than sign for the append redirector and i'll hit enter and now if we cat out our file, let me clear it first. Now if we cat out the file, you should see that the output was appended twice to the file. So instead of rewriting the file, it just added the extra information and in the data to the end. So that's the append redirector.